check, 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 Stay where you are. Charge! Alrighty. So. Attack! Boring. Get to the good. Get to the good part. Yes. Alright. Pionix chamber. Alright, so we're gonna take this two ways. My champion. At last, I can look upon your face. You're even more beautiful in person, milady. One moment, and I shall free you from your prison. You are such a fool, bard. And, uh, may I know the name of the man who thinks me a fool? Don't listen to him. He's the one who's been trying to kill you. Yeah, I've noticed. My duty is to stop any man who threatens to unleash evil upon the land. And you are that man. I've been fighting this evil to set the princess free so she can send you and all of your demonic little friends back to hell where you came from. A place she's very familiar with since that is where she's from. She's the ruler of these fiends you speak of. She is from the very bowels of hell itself. I know she's a little bossy, but no reason to get rude. He lies! Kill the bastard! You're not helping your case here. Are you insinuating the princess has something to do with everything that's been going wrong in the world? Your betrothed there is a direct cause of it all. Now nah, you've gone too far. She's not my betrothed. My love, don't you see what he's doing? This is his last desperate attempt to stop you from setting me free. The, the minions he set upon you have failed, so he's resorting to telling you desperate lies. Please, don't let him confuse you. He is the one behind all of the evil that assails the land. I will fight you if I must, but she is the enemy, not I. She has been playing you for the fool. I'm not stupid. There's no way this woman is the root of all evil. I mean, look how hot she is, for crying out loud. You have eyes, yet you do not see. You have ears, yet you do not hear. You have a brain, but it is located Get in your... Get to the point, please. Calais has been held captive here since the last time she attempted to cover the land in darkness, a thousand years ago. It took the power of four mighty wizards to defeat her and entrap her here, ensuring that her reign of terror was ended. All this time she's been looking for a man, a chosen one, if you will, to set her free so she can rule again. I'm afraid you've been only a pawn in her game, one she will surely dispose of once set free. This is why I hate dating. My darling, he speaks half-truths. I was imprisoned here not by wizards, but by four demonic warlords. You've seen some of them and vanquished them yourself. It was I who defeated their armies, although I was weakened in doing so. After the battle, they trapped me here while they re- The time had come. The Bard was forced to choose, and he knew that he'd better choose wisely. Uh, I already know my choice. Right. Yes, actually, if I look deep into my heart, I can only come to one logical conclusion. What is that, my love? Never trust a woman. What? <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? There's always an angle, isn't there? Give, Give me, me money, money, plow the fields, fields let me out of my magical, magical prison to enslave all of humanity. humanity. And I fell for it. Again. Okay. Happens to the best of us. But you and I, we're meant to be. Oh, give it up. You've been plucking my strings from the get-go. And you've been royally plucked. No more. You know, one minute this beautiful woman appears in a puff of smoke and a flash of light, and the next she turns out to be some sort of evil hellspawn. How do I always miss the subtle signs? <laughs> well, let me tell you, this whole thing, it's over. Is there nothing I can say to change your mind? There's not even anything you can do to change my mind. Not even a kiss? What? You know, a kiss. A simple kiss. It is the only way I can show you how I truly feel. Oh, well, uh... Be careful, Bob. What the hell? I've come all this way. I mean... <laughs> A kiss never killed anyone, right? <laughs> B 
foolish mortal. You had the chance to rule at my side and live forever, but now you shall die like the dog that you are. I tried to warn you. Is it me, or is she still hot? Prepare to experience excruciating pain that will last an eternity. I've already told you. The relationship is off. <laughs> I still love how he's so fucking chill in all this. <laughs> just like, no fucks, just... Need me again? I thought so. I thought so. You are allowed to block, you know. Thus ends the bard's tale. I think we can well, well, see well. that one coming. Oh, oh yes, the bard was making an ass. <laughs> the bard was making an ass of himself. <laughs> You need my help. Yes. Next. Next. Oh. The time had come. The bard was forced to choose, and he knew that he'd better choose wisely. Heard it. <laughs> Yay, let's go back down and die. Again. Get to the good. Get to the good part already. If the good part is. Did you blink?
Does it hurt? Did you blame? Jesus Christ. Time to play. Oh man, those fucking fireballs are fucking no joke. Time to play. Behold my glory! <gasps> Zigzag my way up. Ow. You're the bitch over here. You're the one I'm supposed to kill. Ah, bitch. Quest complete. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah. I saved the world. Yay. You happy? I must say that was quite impressive. You gotta show a moves, boss, or they'll just walk all over you. Now that she's gone. Things will return to normal. Crops will grow and the dead will remain in their graves. You came very close to destroying life as we know it. But you've redeemed yourself. Just show me the way out of this damn tower. This 
Get me out of here, please. Don't make an ass of this. The promise of love and riches lost. The near destruction of the world as we know it. Death, misery, and chaos. Under the weight of such trials, most men would emerge changed. Some for the better, and some for the worse. But for the Bard, things ended the same way they began. Well, my friend, we're back in business. <laughs> of course. All right, and now we gotta do the other side. Of course. Wouldn't be right if we didn't if we didn't play both sides. So. You'd like to continue our tale? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We gotta we gotta do the other side. Gotta kill the the Fionic. Fionic. Killing uh, the fight for this guy is gonna be different. Probably. Ugh. The time had come. The bard was forced to choose, and he knew that he'd better choose wisely. The heart is just a muscle. Nothing more, nothing less. Perhaps I underestimated you. Those who are foolish enough to believe that the heart is in any way connected with love, whatever the hell that is, are living in a fantasy world, my friend. Then again, I may have been right all along. The heart just pumps blood where it needs to go, and that's all that matters to me. If you catch my drift. Perhaps I was right all along. And after seeing Calais and hearing your story... You mean the truth? Well, I must say I am torn. Normally, in a situation like this, I flip a coin. I have a coin right here. But, since she's hot and you're not, and since she has all the coins I'll ever need, then why waste my time? Sorry, my friend, but your story just doesn't wash. She's a thousand years old. <laughs> Please. Oh, I knew I could count on you, my love. If that heart of yours pumped some blood to your other head, you'd see what a catastrophic choice you've made. <laughs> what are you, blind? Look at her. If you side with Calais, this land will be doomed to darkness forever. I, uh do my best work in the dark. You really are an idiot. Your foolishness will stop right here. Prepare to die. Very well. Hold on, Princess. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, maybe two. Yeah. Oh, 
you ever again. Well, that mistake, I mean. Did you fucking pull out your sword already? Okay. Enough with the words, Princess. Before we embrace, I must take my true form. I thought that didn't happen until after ten years of marriage. Oh, you're going to like this. Was right. You are the Queen of Darkness. Well, of course. 
But does it really matter? How does it feel to be at the side of the ruler of the underworld? Every woman I was ever involved with ended up being the woman from hell. Huh, now I have the real thing. Could be fun. So it was, the Bard obtained everything his heart had ever desired. At the expense of the rest of the world, of course. Thus concludes the Bard's tale. Finally, the end. I thought I'd never be rid of him. Never ask me to read this half-wit story again, please. I heard that. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the runaway. Version. You'd like to continue our tale? Now let's see, where were we? Let's see, where were we? Oh, that's right, the bard was making an ass of himself. Heard it. Alrighty, let's see if there is an alternate ending to this, too. The time had come. The Bard was forced to choose, and he knew that he'd better choose wisely. All right, I've made my choice. Well, it's about bloody time. Don't get too excited. I didn't choose you. You choose Calais? I didn't say that either. Tell us, my champion, whom do you choose? A very logical choice. Me. Me. You chose you? <laughs> exactly. What the hell does that mean? What kind of choice is that? As far as I'm concerned, an excellent, excellent one. one. But what about our future? Well, let's look into our crystal ball, shall we? If I fight either one of you, I could be dead. If I kill one of you, and it's the wrong one, I either end up in hell on earth or in a relationship from hell. Literally. So, fighting is really a no-win situation. <laughs> Even if that fighting oh my can God, save I should lives have as we know from it, the beginning. I'll let you two this figure is that amazing. out. In the meantime, <laughs> these undead aren't a bad lot, really. This is unacceptable, you miserable little rat! You will free me, and you will free me now! Land and you will be at my side. There's a twist. I'm intrigued <laughs> and oddly aroused, but uh, I'm afraid I still choose to walk away. Good luck and uh, oh, don't forget to write. <laughs> just walk away. Bye. Come back here, you disloyal coward, and bow before your queen. Come back here, you weak-minded fool, and kill your queen! <laughs> you two have serious control issues. You realize that, don't you? <laughs> so the Bard decided to take the short and narrow road, otherwise known as the easy way out, to the nearest bar. Who says the undead don't know how to party? <laughs> the plight of the world obviously far from his mind, which by all accounts only has room for coin and cleavage, the bard enjoyed his drinks with his newfound friends. Well, that is until... Well, that, that's another story. Great. <laughs> just... just amazing. <laughs> Next! I'm, I'm not at all disappointed. Amazing. <laughs>